Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will talk about secondary skin lesions. In my last video, we discussed primary skin lesions. If you haven't checked that yet, please click the link in the description below. If you find these videos helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn on the notification bell icon for more videos like this. This really does help YouTube algorithm. Now let's jump into the video. First of all, what do we mean by secondary skin lesions? Unlike primary skin lesions, these develop during the evolutionary process of skin disease such as rubbing, scratching, and infection. For example, chickenpox. It starts with a vesicle which is a primary skin lesion. Over time, either it will heal or get infected. Then the name of the lesion will not be vesicle, it will be something else. That's what we are going to learn today. First one is a crust. It is a dried fluid or exudate originating from a lesion. For example, empatigo. Empatigo is an acute, very superficial, purulent skin infection. It initially appears as a vesicular lesion, later progressing to a golden yellow honey crusted lesion, as you can see in this picture. Next one is Kell. Kell is the flacking off of the stratum corneum, which is the outermost layer of the epidermis. For example, seborrheic dermatitis. Here you can see a picture of red, scaly, inflamed skin consistent with seborrheic dermatitis. Now, lichenification. It is thickening of the skin with exaggerated skin marking and hyperpigmentation. For example, lichen simplex chronicus. Here you can see a picture. It is caused by excessive and uncontrollable scratching. Now we will discuss fissure, erosion, and ulcer all together because those are pretty similar. So fissure is a linear slit-like cleavage of the skin, as you can see in this picture. Now this picture particularly shows generalized skin fissure caused by xeroderma. We will talk shortly about xeroderma. Erosion. It is a disruption of the skin involving the epidermis alone and it heals with scarring. In case you forgot the anatomy of the skin, here you can see all the skin layers, epidermis, dermis, and subcutaneous tissue. All right, now the ulcer. Ulcer is similar to erosion, but it extends deeper into dermis. Unlike erosion, it heals with scarring. Now, xerosis. It is pathologic dryness of the skin called xeroderma. If it involves conjunctiva, it is called xerophthalmia or xerostomia when the mucous membrane is involved. Here you can see a picture of xeroderma. Next one is umbilication. It is a formation of a depression at the top of a papule, vesicle, or pustule. For example, molluscum contagiosum. Here you can see a dimple in the center. Although it is not so clear in this picture, but there is a dimple. In summary, if you want to diagnose skin conditions, you must be familiar with these terms. In my next video, I will discuss other important morphological terms, patterns, and distributions of skin conditions. Till then, stay connected. Again, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.